Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number 2 of the journey here at East Colbride. The episode starts at home at K Park where we take on Celtic Reserves in the Scottish Challenge Cup first round. Next up again it will be at K Park, will be against Cumbernauld Colts in the Lowland League, followed by an away trip down to Gretna and then fall, finishing up the episode with another home game against Edinburgh University. I'm excited. I believe we're going to get some points on the board, especially in the league. The Challenge Cup game is going to be tough. You never know who Celtic reserves are going to play. But I'm excited. Let's get stuck into this episode, boys. And here's the match against Celtic reserves. It's going to be a tough test in the Challenge Cup. It's not the team you want to be up against. They have got quite a strong team. I had a quick wee nosy at them. I'm going to stick with this team here that I've liked the look of. We're going to get stuck in. We're going to play positively still. We're going to go for it basically and uh, believe in the team. See what we can achieve with them. Uh, that's the most important thing, I think. Uh, so we are the underdogs. Celtic are the favourites, even though they're the away team. It is obviously just our reserves. They've got a few decent players there like Mikey Johnson, Henderson, but, do you know what I mean? Calvin Muller as well at their left back position. So. It's going to be interesting if we can pull something off here. But right away, it's a, it seems like a 50-50 match. Just looking at the, the possession and stuff like that there. We've picked up a couple of yellow cards. We're reading Bell getting them. Obviously, we're relying on Anton Brady to maybe pull it off again. He has been on some goal scoring form. So I can't seem to drop him at the minute. I'm going to tell him to ease off tackles just because he's got a... A yellow card, so calm down, corner, my man. Half time, not on each. I wouldn't have predicted that. I'm going to sit in the fence with this one because it's going to be a, a tough game. But I'm going to tell the team to go out there with the belief, grab that one goal for us, and we can win it. Because uh, you never know if we do get that goal, especially there wasn't much happening in that first half. This one here, Mikey Johnson. I thought they were going to get a goal there, I'm not going to lie. Just the way they went down that left hand side, it seems to be end to end with this highlight. Bell, oh, Anton Brady, the man does it. Davy Proctor with the long ball forward there, absolutely buzzing with that. There's Proctor picking it up, boom, first time, sees his man, trusts him, he brings it down with his chest and turns and has a nice shot into the far post there. Great goal for 1-0. Absolutely buzzing. Come on, East Bride, we can do this. Obviously, the in real life, we had the big fairy tale tie where we played uh, Celtic in the the cup before. So, obviously, this is just our reserves. David Brownlee is looking a wee bit tired there. So, I'm going to need to make a wee change. Do you know what? I'm going to bring Reid into the centre-back position just because he's more familiar of it. And the other person I'm going to take off is Cairns, because he's on a 6.2. I'm going to bring K Craig Malcolm into the, the centre of the park, just for his experience there. I'm going to take him off as a ball winner, though. And you know what? We'll change our, our two centre mids to Mazella's, just so that they're covering the, the sort of full-back areas if they bomb forward. But it's interesting, obviously, we've got two wingers pushed high as well. The other man that could probably come off is Kivana. Would say, on you go, drive forward, son. Brady, unlucky. It was well wide of the post, that one. That effort there, but... You can't fault them for trying. With this next change, I'm just going to throw in Daryl Healy. Uh, just for fresh legs, and obviously... Kivana was a wee bit... Here or there, at that point of the game. I'm hoping we can hang on to this because there's only a couple of minutes left. Celtic are looking like a threat already. He's offside. Coffee was offside there. But I'm happy with that. We've got a couple of players that stood out for us there, but the main man, Brady, does it again for us. I'm absolutely delighted with that. So we're through to the second round of the Turnock's Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup. I'm absolutely delighted to that. But up next... 
we're getting stuck into some lowland league football so let's get stuck in let's hope we get some points on the board i'm absolutely delighted with the challenge cup but the league's the most important thing for us so we'll see you when we get stuck in after training so it's game week one here in the lowland league we're up against cumbernauld colts and i'm actually delighted that we are the favorites here going into this game it's been a long time coming i don't think we've been favorites yet to be honest with you uh, so we'll get stuck in, I've picked the team, I've had a wee nosy, I've picked a lot of the players that's in form basically at the minute, so I've got to stick with the form, I've got to stick with playing positively as well because we want to get the points on the board and uh, I think we can do that, that was unlucky, nice long throw, something that we have been working on, uh, I noted previously is these long throws into the box, I think they're going to be dangerous for us, especially at this level, but we'll steal the odd goal for them. And that was unlucky from Brady was offside. There is a couple of people we've got in the bench that can come on and hopefully change the game if needs be as well. But there we go. Daryl Healy from a Ryan Cinnamon free kick drifted into that back post area. And then there was Healy with a header. Beautiful goal to go 1-0. Takes us to the top of the league. Obviously the league's just kicked off and it's only 13 minutes in. But I'm I'm feeling confident we've got a strong team out there now, especially at this level. And we're, we're playing good football in the middle of the park, and then boom, Daniel Healy hit it in. Brady was offside though. Look at that. Anton Brady, what are you doing, son? You could have probably left that and it would have counted anyway. I think the keeper was going to save it, to be honest with you. <laughs> but 1 0 still. It shows though. We're, we're getting in the right areas, we're, we're dominating in that final third, especially this midfield battle, where it's going to be, it's going to be key to winning this midfield battle. And that, that's where we seem to be strongest, I think, at the minute. Cairns, Healy, oh, Healy's looking very dangerous doing that right-hand side. I'm actually taking a liking to him. Cinnamon with a long throw. Oh, it was like a game of pinball there. Actually fought it in in for a second. <sighs> I'm more nervous for their keeper here, man, because he's absolutely getting battered with these shots. Pulling off some great saves, it's got to be said. Oh, what a strike, Ross Kivana. Get in, son. And Tom Brady with the assist. Gibbons in the centre of the park to his pal Cairns. Cairns back to Gibbons. Boom, looks up, sees Brady, lays it off for Kivana. Boom, 2 0. So we're starting very positively in the league. I'm very happy with that. And it's only the first half, and we've, we've managed to get ourselves two goals. Brady, unlucky. We probably could have got another couple of goals so far this half. Obviously, we've had one blatant offside as well. And then, just as I say that, they go up the other end and score for a set piece. Kieran Campbell at the far post. Connors whipped in. Miller had a great headed clearance. But McClung picked it up. Nobody really stopped him. That ball should have been cleared in the, the centre of the area there as well. We had enough players in the centre of the box to clear that as well, which is a bit of a shame. So there was a wee bit of lapsing in concentration at the back. And boom! Just like that, we go up the other end, Ross Kavana for Ryan Cinnamon uh, assist again. Look, Cinnamon picks it up in that right back position, bombs forward with it, great cross, over to the opposite wing, Ross Kavana making it 3-1, just before half time as well. That, that's what you want to see, isn't it? Very pleased with the performance, lads, keep it up. This is the level, obviously, we're... We're going to sort of standard a team we're going to be playing in week in, week out at the minute. So it's exciting to see we're dominating early on in the season because it's going to be tough. It's going to be a couple of decent teams in the division that's going to be competing at the top. Whereas Berwick Rangers have just went 2-1 against Vela Leaven. I'm just having a look. Get the subs warmed up. Send them out. Because we might need a couple of them. A couple of legs are look, starting to look tired. Obviously these cup runs as well are going to take its toll on the players. Especially at the start of the season. I can't take Kivana off as much as he's tired. I've got to take uh, David Brownlee off though. I can't have a centre back so tired. Uh, 
the other man could we take off the the left back probably we'll bring on scott stevenson and then the other man maybe to take off will be you know what i'm going to bring woodsy on back into that advanced playmaker role because he get a wee assist when he came on last time for it and i think he'll bring a wee bit of quality into the center of the park as well linking up with the two center mids just before the changes moore goes up the other end joseph moore making it free too Let's hope they don't have a sort of comeback coming on. Kyle McClung, done well doing that left-hand side, drew the full-back out a position and found his man in the channel, basically. To have a, a nice, of course, we're going to be making those changes. That that shows we're making the changes at the right time, though, because uh, they've just went up and made it free too. So I'm hoping the lads can hang on and there. I'll take, I'll settle for free too. Because it's, it's one of the games, I think, in it. Doesn't there seem to be any other sort of highlight? And just as I say that, we get the fourth goal from Daryl Healy. He's absolutely on fire. A Woodsy free kick over that far post. Catches it on the volley. Good night, Vienna. Now we can relax. The three points are in the bag. 4-2. Healy gets two. Ross Kivana gets two. What more can you want when both your wingers are getting your goals? Uh, so I... Really looking forward to the next game. Up next, we've got Stenhouse Muir now in the cup. So let's hope, because we've beat Celtic in the challenge uh, cup round one, we've got Stenhouse Muir in round two. So see you all then. We're going to get stuck into training because this is going to be another tough game as well, I think. See you soon. So it's challenge cup round two time here against Stenhouse Muir. Again, we're sticking with the same formation, the same team as last time. The only made changes I've made is a couple of people to the bench. The good thing is as well, the lads are really training well. We're getting really good responses. Lots of green, lots of players improving. We're just going to get stuck in. Uh, and I'm excited going forward, but we're still working on a few things. Uh, hopefully it starts paying dividends. But at the same time, we're getting the, the good responses for the lads. Uh, I'm going with Miller and Brownlee at the back. Obviously, we've got Proctor there as well, but I've started Proctor on the bench uh, just because they two have been pretty solid for us. Healy, again, down that uh, right-hand side was amazing. Unlucky not to score. This game here, we're not the favourites against Stenhouse Muir. Stenhouse Muir is in the division above us. They're in uh, League 2, which is the sort of senior leagues. Uh, so you get League 2, League 1, Championship, Premiership. Below that, you, where we are playing is the Lowland League. In the Highland and Lowland League, the winners of that play in a playoff. They play basically League 2, which is where Stenhouse Muir are. And they're one of the sort of... Up there is one of the favourites to actually go up within the game. So I'm expecting a tough game here. But it's shown where the squad's at. We're actually doing really well. We're holding our own. So there's no reason we can't do well in the league. That's why I wanted to start Ricky Miller. I was hoping... Like, he was going to be a wee bit of a threat at set pieces, and it shows that he is. Get in, Ricky boy. Absolutely delighted with that, mate. 1-0 against Stenhouse Muir. That's what we're looking for. Uh, bye. It's one of them. I thought one of our players had a wee bit of a knock there. But getting in at half-time, hopefully we, we see it out. Getting in at half-time, 1-0 at K Park. I'm delighted with that. The team's looking good. Things are going well. I reckon these are capable of better, though. I, I do believe in you is that you can do better. Second half kicks off. We have been dominant in the possession department, which is exciting to see. And we're the one that's having all the shots. Again, it's probably coming down to the tactic I've been working on with the lads. And Tom Brady's been a wee bit quiet. He's got another couple of minutes before I take him off, though. That was unlucky for Cairnsy, boy. For the cutback, you know what? I'm just going to... He is, he is still looking quite sharp and fit, but I'm going to bring on Craig Malcolm. I'm hoping the, the big man can come on and get us a wee goal. He's that wee bit of breathing space. Is anybody else looking like they need to come off? Do you know what? I'm going to bring uh, Woodsy on in the centre of the park there. Again, I've not been keen on as much game time just because of the, the form the squad's been in. But every time he comes on, like he's hitting set pieces and that phrase, he is one of your preferred set piece takers, so it's good to get him on. Because he's been getting assists and that when he comes on. 
That was an unlucky effort there. Hitting the woodwork. I think we've got enough quality to see it through here. Right at the end of the game, 1-0. I, I didn't think we would have got by Celtic. I thought we might have struggled here against Stenhouse Muir, but the lads keep surprising me. So we're, we're already through to the third round of the Challenge Cup. I'm absolutely delighted with that because honestly, I didn't expect it. But up next, we're back into Lowland League football. We're up against Gretna and then Edinburgh University to see the episode out. So I hope we get a good result against Gretna. We're going to get stuck into training again. We'll see you all soon on match day. So up next is our away tie to Gretna. And I'm, again, I'm going to remain confident uh, after uh, the Gretna game we have got Edinburgh University. So I'm hoping for maximum points for, from these two next games. But I've made a wee change here. We've got Woodsy playing in behind the striker. I can't change Brady at the minute because he's scoring for fun. And he's got some decent stats in the game. The stats are a wee bit randomly generated. But he's been doing well. So I'm going to keep cheering them on. Hopefully he keeps scoring. And hopefully Woodsy giving them the start that he deserves probably. They've started with a free kick at the edge. And I, I did feel like there was going to be a goal there. So it's already 1-0 Gretna. So the home team have got the advantage. Addison done well to pick up that loose ball within the box. Somebody should have really burst their, their stomach to get that there and get it cleared. So we were unlucky. Uh, they, they just uh, leaped on it. Up the other end though. Davy Proctor scores, but it's offside. Cairnsey whipping that long free kick in towards that back post area. The defence were quite sitting quite high there. So we were caught out trying to be sneaky at the back. Goalkeeper's punting it long. That's interesting. I reckon they're going to try catches on... Uh, catches out sleeping even. Kavana up that left flank. Cutting inside, unlucky. Hopefully, we make a save here, and they've just scored for another set piece, and it's Graham Muir. That's not what we're looking for, uh, especially in the league, but, but we'll just give the lads a wee shout. We want them to demand more. It's no good enough. They are feeling a wee bit pressured uh, their end. Hopefully, we are doing that shout. We've motivated their own team by doing it. There's a couple of anxious bodies there as well. The reason I dropped uh, Miller, sorry, at the back as well was just he was a bit tired, so that's how I've rotated Proctor in as well. He was the other change that I've made at the start of the game, because uh, he was looking a lot fresher. But we've got our own corner here, we would say, near post. We are working on those near post corners, so I'm hoping they pay off, uh, especially with a man like Woodsy whipping it in. Go on, Woodsy. Woodsy, there you go. Scores for a free kick. Straight into the top corner. Keeper had absolute no chance. That's what we want. 2-1. Can we pull it back? Anything's possible in football, isn't it? With some of the results we've been getting, especially in this game, let's hope we can pull off a wee miracle here. It's a wee bit all over the place. I don't like that. I would rather the ball played in the deck. But I think that, that's just going to be due to their tactic. They seem to be playing the, the long ball more. But we're going to get a goal for that near post corner there. We've got a couple of tired legs ourselves. The boys have been warming up. I've got to take Big Davy off. You know what, I'm going to drop Dean Cairns into the defensive role there. I'm going to bring Sean Winter on into the centre of the park. Ross Kivan is looking a wee bit tired there on the... The flanks. I'm going to bring Liam Scullion on. Uh, the other man that's looking tired is Ryan Cinnamon, so we'll take him off just to freshen things up all round. And I'm just hoping we can get another wee cheeky goal. I I'll feel like we've robbed them if we get that other wee goal. I'm just going to do a show some passion shout just for this late. Oh, I thought that was getting in. I thought we'd done it there. I'm not even going to lie, I thought that was in. So it looks like this is going to be our first loss in the league. So I don't know if you expected that. I didn't expect it, to be honest with you. So it just shows where we're at. 
we, we were overconfident maybe going into that game. We have got Edinburgh University next, and that puts us down to fifth. Obviously, it's only two games played in the league, but Berwick and Kelty Hearts are up there. Edinburgh University is up there, so we better know. Uh, we better treat them with respect because Gretna is now up there because they beat us, so we better treat Edinburgh Uni with a wee bit of respect going into this game. They have Drew Wee Sterling as well, so are we going to beat Edinburgh University? It was a bit of a shock losing there to Gretna, so we'll see you. We're going to get stuck into training and we'll see you at the next match. Take care. So for the final game of the episode, it is East School Bride versus Edinburgh University. We are favourites. We have had a couple of wee changes. At the back we're going for Miller and Proctor, Cinnamon and Stevenson. And we've got McGintley still in goals. In midfield we're going with the Gibbons and Cairns partnership. In behind the striker I'm going with Peyton this game. Woods, I'm putting them onto the, the right hand side here. We're sticking with Kavana on the left hand side and we're going to go Brady up top again. If Brady doesn't score, I'm going to rotate uh, Malcolm in. Uh, but I'm feeling confident. I feel this is the strongest team we can put out this week. Just the way things training's been going in that as well. We are favourites as well, so let's get stuck in. We're not going to take them lightly, to be honest with you, because we saw they have got a wee result in the league already themselves. But we should really be battering this team. We should be, do you know what I mean? We should be winning this game. Just with the quality we've had and the results we've had in the cup. But it just shows you... You can't. You can only take them with a pinch of salt sometimes, especially when you play a strong team like Gretna. Already, we've got an injury on Miller. That's not something we want. We we'll need to bring Brownlee on. The good thing is we've got a decent bench there to bring somebody like Brownlee on. So it's a potential foot injury. It's saying obviously it's no telling us everything there. It's no telling us the full story because we'll suffer if we're struggling uh, with, with injuries. But it seems to be a, a quite an even game so far. Nothing each. I'm going to obviously have a, a wee word with the lads. If it doesn't work out, the no to change when I ask them to do the tactical change. We will go a wee bit more aggressive in searching the goal. It is saying Anton Brady is quite error prone today. So we'll give him another few minutes. Malcolm's already out there warming up. Just having a look across the board. We've got a free kick, would it? Unlucky son. I actually thought that was going to go in at the top corner there. But Malcolm's coming on. We've got Daryl Healy we could bring on as well. But you know what? But we're going to push the team on here. We we definitely want to be make sure what to be making sure, sorry, that we're keeping ourselves covered at the back. Because I'm going to ask the team to push forward here. So we're going to go very attacking. But at the same time I don't want to be caught out at the back. By pushing f too far forward. Oh, that was a good ball in there with Kivana as well. But here you go. What do you think of the result so far as well? I'm just going to pause it there. We have got a corner. I'm going to ask to demand more. I was going to have a quick wee nosy. I'm going to bring Sean Winter on the left wing position. And you know what? Maybe we should take... We'll take Dean Cairns off in the... Nah, we can't. We, we've used our subs, I forgot, because of that injury, sorry. I was going to bring another one on there. But Peyton, unlucky, son. Rudy Peyton. Looks like this is going to be a stale nil nil draw, which it is. So what, what do you think of the result so far? Is it what he's expected? Hopefully we can change. The last two games are only up to our standards, but we had 16 shots. They only had four there. We were the better team there. We did deserve better. So we're going to have a few other things to work on in training. That obviously finishes up episode uh, number two. The other thing, just to let you know, we're playing Hearts in the Challenge Cup third round. Hearts Reserve, sorry. And then we got this team cross gates. And a qualifying cup as well, second round. So we've got the games to look forward to. But let me know in the comments below how you think the season's going so far. Are you enjoying the, the episodes as well? Let us know in the comments. That's the only way we're going to know what you think about it. But I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all for episode number three next week. Take care.